Hi guys, okay, so I just filmed this video and it was 10 minutes long and then I, my computer is really weird, um, if I move it while the webcam's going it turns off and I just went to type something and um, the webcam stopped and it didn't save the video. So I'm going to go through this all again. Okay, so this is going to be, um, well obviously by the title you'll know what it is now, but it's my most three embarrassing moments. Um, I've got one major embarrassing moment that is kind of a long story, so that will take up most of the video. The other two um, are kind of just, um, I don't know, like they are embarrassing, but I might just tell, I don't know, I'll tell them both and then I'll just kind of add this other story in that is happened when I was with Nathan. Um, it's basically something really stupid that I said. And I'll share one of his embarrassing stories as well because I think it's fucking hilarious. So anyway, the third most embarrassing story was with my ex-boyfriend. We'd only been dating for two months and um, it was the middle of summer. And I'm sorry if I'm saying this like, ugh, but I just went through it all. So I'm saying again. Um, yes, yeah, so it was the middle of summer. We just got back from the beach. I was in his bedroom and I wear a one-piece swimsuit. So obviously you have to take it all off at once. So um, I was standing in his bedroom, you know, um, I was getting my clothes out of my bag to get changed into. Um, I had just taken my swimsuit off. Did I take it off? Yeah, I had just taken it off. Getting my clothes out of my bag when all of a sudden the door of his bedroom flies open and his mum is standing in the doorway. So she's standing there looking at me completely naked while I'm finding my clothes to put on. Um, it was one of those moments where I looked at her and was like, oh my god, and she looked at me and she was like, oh my god, and she didn't, leave, like, she didn't leave the room, and I was like, well, I clearly can't, like, leave the room, and it was just really awkward, and she stared at me for, like, five minutes, not five minutes, because that would have been, like, kind of creepy, you know, you yeah, know, she stared at me for, like, five seconds, and then it was really awkward, and for, like, a few months after that, every time I looked at her, I was like, you have seen me naked, oh, she saw me naked before her son did, you know. I just sounded like a massive slut then. I'm seriously not, but that was just really awkward. And plus, they were really strong Christians, so that made it even more awkward. Yeah. Um, the second most embarrassing story... Sorry, I'm sitting on the floor. It's really not comfortable. The second most embarrassing story was, again, with my ex. Um, we went away for three weeks on holidays, and the house that we were staying in, um, there was a... Everything was upstairs in this house, except for one bedroom and one bathroom downstairs. Oh, I keep burping. But um, no one was staying in the bedroom downstairs because I can't remember if it was like it had been closed up for so long, the downstairs bit, that it had really bad... Um, I don't even know what was wrong with it. But no one was staying in it, basically. And um, my ex had two brothers and his mum and his dad and me. So that came to six people with one bathroom and the bathroom was basically the toilet, the shower, the bath, the sink. Everything was in the one room. So I woke up one morning and I really had to pee like super bad and I was like oh my god like I'm seriously going to piss my pants if I don't go to the bathroom so I was like I know I'll be resourceful I'll go to the bathroom that's downstairs so you know I'm walking downstairs um the house that we we're staying in was really big so I didn't check to see um if anyone was you know if everyone was upstairs by the way I'm sorry that my mouth is like out of sync because it's cloudy outside for some reason it makes it all like delayed but you know whatever so, um, sorry, my neighbour just like opened his door and I was like, what the hell? Anyway, that sounded really weird. Um, you probably wouldn't have been able to hear that. So, wow, I'm so ADD, it's ridiculous. So, back to the story, guys. I walked downstairs um, and the bathroom door was like a jar. So, it was, it was open like that much. So I was like, okay, sweet, like, no, no one's in there. So I barge in, you know, and when you walk into the um, bathroom, the toilet is on the side. I walk in, his dad is standing there chucking a piss. Um, he had no pants on, so basically, you know, saw his dad's hoo-ha. Um, and it was one of those really awkward moments where he just stared at me and I was kind of staring at him. I just, it was one of those moments I was like, Oh my God, I need to look away. I really need to look away. I really should look away right now. I really need to look away. Courtney, you should look away right now. And then all of a sudden, like, you know, I was like, okay, this is disgusting. This was only like five seconds long because I was so like shocked in what I was seeing, you know. Um, that just makes me sound like a massive perv that I was checking out his dad's 
No, I really wasn't. It was just like a really awkward moment. I did that. I like froze. I was like, ah. So then I like walked away and he screamed and I screamed. And it was really awkward and I could never look at his dad the same way again because, you know, like, you know, you know. Um, and needless to say, me and my ex broke up like a month after that. Not because of that reason, but I just thought it was funny. Okay, so they're my t like top two. My very most embarrassing story, I'll tell you in a second. But this story I think is really funny because I have really blonde moments. Um, people that know me in real life, sorry, I'm like, I'm like playing with my dog at the same time. People that know me in real life, especially Nathan, um, know that I say really stupid shit all the time. And most of the time when I say it, I'm being dead. Oh, sorry, I'm playing tug of war with my dog. She's like ripping my arm off. <laughs> One second. Okay. Glad that's sorted. So, um, yeah, most of the time I'm being completely serious about it and I don't realise what I said is really that stupid until someone points it out. So this one time, I don't even remember, like I say the most stupid shit to Nathan all the time. I don't even remember what we're talking about. Oh, we're talking about an additive in food. And oh, I can't remember what it said or what I said. We're talking about something and, we're, and Nathan was like, no, I said to him, this is, okay, you can totally tell I'm not prepared for this. I said to him, I was like, yeah, 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 it starts with M. Whatever food additive we were talking about, I was like, yeah, it starts with M. He turns around and goes to me, yeah, MSG. And I go, I said it starts with M. MSG starts with E, like E-M-S-G. And um, I just think that shows how really stupid I am at times. And I was being completely serious and I was like, what are you talking about? And he started laughing and then I realised and I was like, oh, wow. And um, something embarrassing that happened to him, um, he was staying over. Was he staying over? Yeah, he was. And, like, I don't know if this happens to anyone else, but when you're, like, half asleep, this used to happen to me when I would, like, stay up late on the phone all the time. You're half asleep and um, you're thinking about something while you're talking to the person on the phone. And this happens to me, so I completely understand what he was going through at the time. So someone's talking to you and then you're, you're like half asleep, you've got your eyes closed, you know, you're lying there and you're thinking about something completely different in your head and you think that it's actually part of the conversation that you have going on right now. So this is what ha was happening with Nathan. I was talking about something, com I don't even know what I was talking about. I wish we could remember. We always try and remember what I was talking about because, you yeah. know. So out of nowhere, you know, I'm just having a jolly old conversation with him. He turns around and goes, it's in Chinese. And I was like, <laughs> oh, it's so funny. It's not that funny. It's, you're probably not going to be laughing at this, but it was so fucking hilarious at the time. I turned around and I was like, what's in Chinese? And he was like, what? And I was like, you just said it's in Chinese. What's in Chinese? And he was like, what are you talking about? And it was just really funny because he didn't even realize he'd said it. Okay. Now, for the most embarrassing story that I've ever, that has ever happened to me. In, oh, my dog is going mental and she's biting my hand. Ah, uh, ah, uh, <laughs> oh, you guys are so not going to miss my videos. Anyway, so, you know, <laughs> oh my God, what am I saying? Yes, so the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me, I'm not going to, you know, get into full detail like I did in the video that I just recorded, but it didn't work because it's going to take like five minutes to say. But basically, um, me and one of my best friends, we were... We finished school late and, um, you know, basically we had to, okay, basically, cut a long story short, we got locked in the school. The front gate, the main gate was shut and there's a back gate that we were going to get out of and it was shut. Now, the front gate has spikes on it so we were like, okay, well, you know, we can't climb that gate because, you know, we will cause some fear. That was weird. I just saw an orb. Yeah, I did actually just see an orb. It just like flew. It was like ping. Wow. Anyway. Um, yeah. Cool. I have no idea what the fuck I was saying. Yeah. So we were like, okay, well, we can't climb the front gate because that will cause some serious medical damage. So we were like, okay, well, what the fuck are we going to do? So I was like, okay, well, I guess we'll climb the back gate. Now, the back gate is two meter high poles. And there's about a gap about that much in between the poles. No. Okay, that's an exaggeration. It's probably like about that much. I was a skinny mini, you know. I probably could have slid through there sideways, but clearly not. So I was like, well, shit, I'm going to have to, we're going to have to summit, what? 
somehow climb this. So basically, we ended up, I ended up being able to get up. So I was sitting on top of the fence. Don't, don't ask me how I got up there because I don't remember. I had a dr not adrenaline, but you know, when you're like, I'm really claustrophobic and I was like, we're locked in the fucking school. We're locked in the school. So I was like, holy shit, we need to get out of here. So I don't know how I did it, but I was sitting on top of the fence. Um, I was sitting there and my friend was like, all right, just go for it. And I was like, are you sure? And she was like, yeah, man, just jump, just do it. And I was like, all right, I'm going to do it. So I'm sitting on top of this fence, you know, I'd already chucked my bag over to the other side of the fence, so I had to jump regardless. So I'm sitting on top of the fence and I'm like, all right. So I go to jump. I jump, but my undies and my skirt do not follow through with my jump. They stay on top of the pole while I, the rest of my body is jumped. My undies and my skirt are on top of the pole. My body is like this. Needless to say that day, of course, I was wearing my favorite pair of undies. As soon as I jumped, it was like, and I was like, no, and it was really funny. I started laughing and I was crying and I was literally hanging there like, okay, I'm kind of tall. So I was like on my tippy toes, but man, it hurt. Let me just tell you, it was hurting really bad. I had a wedgie, like a massive wedgie. Lucky my skirt didn't get, my skirt got caught, but it didn't rip. So I was hanging there by my skirt, but mostly my undies. My undies had ripped, but I was still hanging there and I just had to, I literally reached up behind my head and went like this and unhooked my undies and my skirt. And I was just absolutely mortified at the fact that, you know, I had basically given myself a massive wedgie. The thing that makes it embarrassing is my best friend. She's not my very best friend, but she's one of them. She was standing behind me the whole time. So she got a massive, massive clear view of my ass. And there was a house right next to where it happened. And there were people home. And, you know, we were laughing so hard that I'm sh and We were still laughing. I was still hanging there while I was laughing pretty positive that the people would have kind of peeped through the windows and just saw me hanging there you know with my ass out for everyone to see so they're my most embarrassing stories i hope you like them i hope you find them funny um they are funny to me still like i still laugh at them thinking about it but um sorry i just got a message so Anyway, so yeah, I just I hope you guys find it funny. I think it's a funny tale. I was watching it and I was pissing myself laughing to most of them. So yeah, so I'm gonna go now. Um, I tag every single person that watches this video to at least do a video response to this, or just write in the comments your most embarrassing stories because I would love to hear them. And I'm really sorry that this video is so long, but it's gonna be like my last video for a while just because I'm not gonna have time, as I said in the video that I previously uploaded. So I'm gonna go now. My stomach is starting to hurt extremely bad. <sighs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to go now. And I'm getting an ultrasound tomorrow for those who are going to be like, oh, my God, she's pregnant. I'm not pregnant. I've just had really bad stomach pains. I've had blood tests. Nothing came back with the blood test. So I'm getting an ultrasound tomorrow. So hopefully I'll find out if something's wrong. And to be honest, I want there to be something wrong so they can fix it because this is absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah, please leave a comment. Tell me your most embarrassing stories. Or if not... Please, please, please make a video response because I would love to watch them. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye, guys.